Okay, this is the last one, we promise. Uh, it's the shortest video from call from eBay yet, 10 minutes. But I'm sure Brian will have something to say at the end, so here we go. This is today also. So she's just hung up on me. We call back. Had to get a new pin. Good morning. Welcome to eBay customer service. The pins last 15 Your minutes. Policy. We had to get another pin. Services. That tells you how long we were Your call may be recorded. Please enter your pin. Followed by the pound key. If you don't have your pin, you can't even do it before you finish talking. It's probably right. been over 15 minutes. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. Let me make sure I got your pin right. The pin you entered is 1065755. If that's correct, press 1. Okay. The number or code you have dialed is incorrect. Oh, yeah. Okay. Please check the number or code and try again. Our pin had timed out, so we didn't know. This is unbelievable. Again, the pin you entered is 1065755. If that's correct, press 1. Well, I couldn't verify your account with that information, but let's keep going anyway. Let's keep going okay. Anyway. Wow. Main menu. You can hear me in the background. Questions again. related to buying on eBay. If you want to press one. Yourself. Press two, two if you want to take your own out the window. Press, two. press three, if, if you, you want have to take your own window. We're going to talk to you about instead so I can know who we are. This is incredible. Press I've been four. trying to tell you. I've been if trying to do this talk. all week. It's such a pain in the ass. If I've been bitchy or moody to anyone <laughs> this week, now you, you know why. She pretty much hung up on you. Again. Customer service. To ensure quality and for training purposes, your call may be recorded. Your call may be recorded. Please yeah. enter your PIN followed by the pound key. If you don't have. We were able to verify your account. That's pretty good. I don't get that. We were able to verify your account. What do you verify? She's verified. I know. It's, it's, we're trying to get verified, so that's wrong lingo, but she's basically saying that she knows who we are. That's where they give you a pin so that they know right. which account you're calling about, which is kind of a plus because you don't have to say, you know, to people who don't really understand English very well, you have to say, storage here is H and Thank you for calling you big customer service. My name is Gilbert. May I have your first name? Rebecca Foss. The company is Storage Heroes. Gilbert? My name is Gilbert. My name is Rebecca Fox, and the company's name is Storage Heroes. Uh, I like unicorns. Uh, thanks so much for the information. So how can I help you today? I was speaking to somebody else, and she put me on hold for 12 minutes and 35 seconds, and then hung up on me. I would figure with the pen, they would be able we to We were trying to verify my account. Um, okay, can you please uh, share what your concern is, or what the problem might be? My account was just... Did I just okay. do that? It's more I actually just got an email time. from you guys two minutes ago. It says your account has been suspended because recent account activity has raised serious security concerns. We've taken this precaution to protect our members. Due to the suspension, you won't be able to use your eBay account in any way. She now just I'm sent me that two minutes ago. Now I'm upset. But she couldn't pick up back the phone to tell me that. Okay, I understand how frustrating it is to have your account suspended. So call in today to check if we can have it reinstated or up if the restriction shows how much you want to use our site for your online trading needs. And we really do appreciate that. So uh, that's it for the review. Your account is even more She's just reading it. She's just reading it. Okay, can I put you on hold for two minutes? Yes, but please don't forget about me. Any more questions you no, I just, I just, no, I just want to be able to list, and this is like the fourth time y'all have suspended me this week, and all I'm trying to do is list my items. Okay, so Rebecca, I'm um, going to try what I can do. I'll be the line for you, okay? Thank you. That's a problem in their script, too. If, if there's Thank a script you. for your account has been suspended, their very next question should be, is there any other problems or concerns you are having? It's like, well... Obviously no, because we can't do anything else. It's like it's like when you have internet and your internet's out, and the very first thing it says is try internet troubleshooting on the web. Mm -hmm. It's like well, obviously. Oh, and by now, the reason on the tape on this one, you can hear Rebecca's kind of upset. And the reason being is think about this: we were on hold for like ten minutes, twelve minutes, something like that. 
the last two minutes we were on hold, they had obviously made some decision on up at eBay, and they had they had sent this letter, this form letter to Rebecca's email. But instead of getting back on the phone and telling us what was going on and telling us that they had sent an email, somebody in eBay just decided that it would be it would be easier just to click and shut off the connection. Or she's just gonna make me call again. I mean, what kind of customer relationship is that? What kind of spirit of eBay is that? Right? Last time I checked, you know, I've got I've got a business in the French Quarter. What if I just hung up on everybody that called me? Right? Oh, you didn't receive your item? Uh, oh, whatever. well, like, shoot. Hold on. Let me check with FedEx and see where that's at. I'll, I'll get right back with you. Click. You're asking a hard question that I can't answer? Click. Thank God I don't have scripts. It's like children. And, you know, I don't know what's more frustrating, being frustrated by this or having someone reading me off a script. I am sorry that you're frustrated, Ted. Where are you going? Get a drink. <laughs> Can I get a drink? eBay is pushing everybody to drink. We're going to make a shirt that says eBay made me alcoholic. And I know that's not funny, but it's almost true. It's a shame, too, because, you know, like we've been saying this whole time, I could very easily lie, make up a fake name, make up a fake account, make up this not be somebody on the Internet that I'm not. And, you know, they have all these laws that they're trying to pass that, um, what's your name? The lady from the TV? There's a local uh, Louisiana, oh, welcome, Lola. There's a uh, local Louisiana, Helena Marina is a congressman now, and she's trying to pass this law where you can't impersonate somebody on the internet. But it's like the people who are impersonating people get whatever they want, and it's no big deal because they can just keep making identities. The people who actually do things the right way get penalized. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, the thing is, notice how she was, this, and I see a pattern now. They're very polite when they first answer the phone. Once they put us on hold, they obviously look into it and they see all this stuff that's happened and they realize that, according to them, nobody can do anything for us. So then, then they go, they fall on some script, they probably got somebody sitting over their shoulder talking. Here we go. Yes. I didn't even get to appeal. Wait, I didn't stop reading your script. I didn't even get to appeal. No one ever asked me for any documents. I can give you an email address. I can give you a picture of my location. I can send you a picture of the items to prove that I have them. I can show you receipts for where I purchased these items. I can show you letters and bills with my company name and address on them. I mean, I can give you whatever you want. No one is giving me the opportunity to prove my case. So don't you dare tell me that my appeal is denied because you did not even let me appeal. It's true. And listen to the pause. They don't know what to say. They don't know what Hello? to say. How can they thoroughly investigate and, uh, when all the information they have is, how can they thoroughly investigate when they only have asked me four questions? The only information that she has, she asked me my name, she asked me my phone number, she asked me if I use a drop shipper, she asked me where I get my items and if I have them on my person. That's the only five questions that she asked me. So how is that enough to do a full okay, investigation? Aside from, so aside from this, aside from this information, aside from this information, uh, the department has also done other investigations. And, uh, what, 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 what did they find? Tell me what they found that shows that I am not... What did they? What did they find? What what evidence did they find? Okay, I uh, as much as possible, I want you to give some uh, information about the suspension or about the investigation. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't have the ability to do so. I want a supervisor uh, then, because you're not answering my question. Is this, can I speak to a supervisor? 
That's sure. okay. I need someone to answer my question. You've not no. told me what what you found in the investigation to show that I cannot have this account. I don't think there is a You've not given me a good reason why I cannot have okay. this account. Tell me why someone okay. else can list items and I can't. What is it about my business? Please help me understand. What is it about my business? Is it the amount of time that I've had the account? Is it the number of items that I'm listing? Is it the type of items that I'm listing? Is it my contact information? Is it the state that I live? I mean, please help me understand why. I just want to know why. Why is my account not fit for eBay? Why am I unable? As I said a while ago, the department has really investigated your account. Why? Really investigated based on five questions. What triggers an investigation? No, 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 no. You're reading your script. There it is. She fucking hung up on me again. Sorry about the language, y'all. I don't know. They won't even tell me what the hell is going on. Imagine this, people. Seriously. And this, the last two, the last two videos you just saw, they happened within back like to back, yeah. back to back, a minute maybe between and each one. I mean, think about that. Just <laughs> how frustrated I would be if I if I called them a third time, the same thing would have happened. If I called them the fourth time, the same thing would have happened. I would have been on the phone all day, and it still would have been like, I'm sorry, we cannot help. And I'm telling you, whatever else, whoever writes that script, the line, no one at eBay. I've had three different people tell me, no one at eBay can reinstate your account. That's you can't. That's the improper word. Someone at eBay can reinstate my account. The CEO of eBay has to be able to reinstate yeah. my account. It's no one will reinstate and, and, my account. Uh, I mean, the investigation. So from the five minutes ago that she called last time, you put her on hold for Think twelve. That a thorough investigation. In the twelve minutes, in the twelve minutes that she was on hold after answering whether we were a drop shipper or not, okay, and then sending a BS email and then just hanging up on her, and then us calling back. But being put back on hold for two, three minutes, and then the woman get back, getting back on, and basically just you know, thorough investigate the. And what? I called from the same number that is on my account. I called them from the same number. So if they have caller ID, like I can understand if I blocked it, and they're like, oh, she's blocking her number. Oh, she's not answering questions. Right. You know, she's not she's being forthcoming. But as far as I can tell, the only thing that that. In the very beginning, when when you didn't want to send your personal information to a fax number outside of the country, which I understand your point. Now I asked her where it was, and she said, it, "I said, is it in the United States?" She said, "No." I said, "Well, can you tell me what country it's in?" She said, "No." Oh well, yeah, but but the for for the eBay for eBay, the damning part about this is not that. I mean, le legitimately, they can ask you for that information, and you can say no, and and then they can tell you that they don't want your business, like okay, that. But the second time around, when they give you options of other things to do in order to prove your validity, and you do it, and they do reinstate an account, and then they come and pull it. Right. And why, if I was so suspicious, why? and why, if they can determine that I'm suspicious within two minutes or four minutes or whatever, why is it that a, like three or four days pass when I ask for the higher spending limits with the other account, and they did and they that? Allow it. Like, why would they have said no to that? This is, I really do think this is a case of eBay is so big. They don't know, they don't know what they, the, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. Yeah, they could care less about a single individual. Right, because it's not enough volume. Because, Even though we're very and, high volume. And here's the funny thing. The spirit of the, the spirit of the eBay community. Help me out with this one. So, we're not good enough for the spirit of the eBay community. Yet, you've got people on eBay fraudulently selling stuff all day long, fake purses, knockoff handbags, okay, fake NFL jerseys. Yeah. All right, there was just a big seizure, big seizure. You can't tell me that you can get an authentic, signed Drew Brees jersey for $50, right. please. Please. I bought, remember, I bought a gold tester kit off eBay like a couple weeks ago and it never came. I paid for it and it never came. So there's people that, you know. So, so all of a sudden it's like, okay, so we're, we are a high risk entity. You guys have gotten so big. <coughs> they can't even, and I gave them you our website even, yeah. and our blog. You, and, you, you're doing all the wrong things right. and you don't care about indiv yeah. an individual unit.
in the spirit of your community. If they're really going to investigate, it takes two seconds to click on the link I provided and see my picture that matches, you know, and see my address. And I that mean, good Three hundred follow. Did I breathe and give you the impression I've been talking? You sound just I'm like her. Why don't you grab a script and you'll be good? <laughs> you know, you you see, you I have violate the spirit of me. Okay. We have like three hundred. Granted, it's not a whole bunch, but we have like three hundred ninety nine <clears throat> followers, and we, you know, obviously we're actually selling and doing business with people. What were you gonna say? I, that's what I was just going to say. That mm -hmm. I mean, if you go, all you have to do is type Storage Heroes and go online and you will see us on YouTube. You'll see us on our blog. You'll see us on Facebook. You'll see us all over the place. Right. If we were a fraudulent entity that was trying to fly by night under radar, close to the desert floor. We wouldn't have any of that. Why would we have all of this? And on top of that, they asked me to link to another business account. So I did. So I linked it to the account that I've had for 10 years in my other business. And that one's done perfect, and it's we've sold things, and we've we've sold five six thousand dollar things at one time, and shipped them, and had okay, and gotten good feedback, and all this, and so it's like you asked me to link to another account to put that password in to prove that I'm the person that was operating that account, and I obviously did that. you are. And what the see, hell? See, that's my point. That in the end, no matter what we all say, what we say, what they say, whatever, in the end. Whether you wanted to show them, like, you know, send them a, you know, your card or whatever, you decided you didn't want to do that. They gave you the other option to do those other things to prove who you are. You proved who you were to them. They accepted it. And then all of a sudden they didn't want it anymore. Again, why? And then the thorough investigation. So thoroughly you, you, she answered the questions you wanted her to and she did it and she, she showed that she was valid and legitimate. And then your thorough investigation concluded that she wasn't, even though she did everything you wanted her to do. Right. So basically, eBay, what you've done is you've wasted our time, hours of her listing time, photos. Yeah, I have to redo um, all, all that. All of that. You've cost us money. We had legitimate bids, hundreds of dollars. I'm not talking like five, six dollars. Right. One item had a four hundred. We had a four hundred dollar bid on a Depeche Mode collection. Yeah, and basically the options they're giving me now is I can either fight this, which the fight you doesn't get anywhere. You just here, hang up right. on you over and over. Four calls have ended tragically. Two, I can lie and start a new fraudulent account, which I don't want to do. That's not the spirit Maybe we should of get... Storage Heroes. It's not the spirit of Storage Heroes. We should get Dateline to go with us and do a fraudulent account and with all of this as a background. Think about that, and then start we listing start crazy Lola. stuff. Lola can we could start an the Hind I could I, I could list the Hindenburg blimp. Lola, <laughs> okay. Lola pieces Fox. of the destroyed blimp, and I could take rubber from tires out out back and just set them on fire and ship it to people. Lola Fox, do you and want I your own eBay account? Allow it to happen. If you want your own eBay account, bark. Who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> Who that? You want your own eBay accounts? Get your email account. Apparently the dog doesn't want there it is. <laughs> um, so we could start her one or I could use my other business's one, which I didn't want to do because I wanted to try to keep it separate. Or we can use Craigslist. We can Bonanza, let me tell you guys, Bonanza.com. If everyone moves to Bonanza, we could show eBay that they're bullies. Bonanza does not charge you to list your pictures. You can put as many pictures up as you want. It looks pretty like Etsy where like it's a prettier format and you can search for things by color or by, you know, different things like Etsy does. It's like Craigslist that lets you put stuff, you know, list for free as many times as you want. So it's like a combination of eBay, Etsy, Craigslist, all that. And they do your listings for you if you want to pay a little bit extra. So if everyone goes to Bonanza or maybe we'll just list on our website for free. You know, it's, just, it's like we're trying to give them freaking money. They, they're overpriced service anyway. It's too bad. It's too bad it came down to this. Yeah, I can um, again. She's rubbing off on you. I think it was an accent this time. It is too bad that... <laughs> um, what was I even saying? Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to list for free or we're going to go to Bonanza. And that shows them because they're overpriced anyway. The service they provide is... They don't really do, they don't really do anything. It's, they make you pay... They make you do all the work, and they collect money off of every listing. So it's in their best interest to just keep letting you know, you know, if if there's a problem after your listing, then they should work at disputing. They shouldn't give you all this problem on the front end. But um, not anymore. I mean, why? It's just too bad that the whole situation came the way it came. Um, it's uh, it's unfortunate. That's what you're interrupting for.
It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Okay. I mean, we, you know, buy. I mean, Endnotes, you know, would have loved to have done business with eBay. Um, Too bad. eBay, if you're watching this and you want to give us an account, give us a call. And I'll tell you what. And, and, and 504-535-HERO. And in the years to come, I, I cannot wait in the years to come to post another, like a, Rebecca knows kind of what I'm talking about. In the years to come to see where we are and what's going on and then have eBay imagine just why they didn't want our account. Okay. All right, let's go get some work done. Bye. Bye, guys.